welcome. How is everybody? That's good. Nice to see you. Oh, hello, Hawkeye Mike and Patrick Murphy. How many we got? We got six watching. Nobody's talking. Oh. Hey, Joe the book guy. I'll probably start at like 10 after or a quarter after actually selling stuff. Oops. Shocking. North Dakota? I'm not in North Dakota. Feels like it. Some days, eh? Today, I did. Yes, don't forget to register. <gasps> the link is in the description and it should work. I think everyone that's in here is registered. Thanks for coming, Harry. Hello, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks for trying, Mike. Today's the 19th. No, 20th. What? You have the wrong date on your spreadsheet. I didn't make my spreadsheet yet. It was like, oh, that's from last week. Oh, that's February. Good lord. <laughs> I thought you already made it. No, ma'am. I was going to do it right now. I thought I have 15 minutes. I can make my spreadsheet. All right, never mind. Sorry. With witnesses. I'll shut up now. Make me nervous. Everyone, Marcy's over here off camera. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. She's my backseat bidder. Backseat. I'm my backseat driver. Backseat auctioneer. All right. I don't have nothing in it. What's going on here? Hello, Roy. Rad Relics. Hey, John. You didn't miss anything yet. I'm going to start in a few minutes. Um, if you want to register, there's a, the link should be in the description. Hopefully you can get it. And if I'm smart, I'll figure out how to put it in it to the chat. But I'm not that smart, so... You know, she's the one that yells, yep, yep, no, oh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> no, don't chew on that. That's what she said. <sighs> I had all day to make a spreadsheet for tonight's sales, and guess what I didn't do? I tell you what you did. Send me memes. And... No, I didn't. You sent me memes all day. Today is what? 3 20 24. Hey. And yep. no, get out of there. Everything makes me sad right now. Hello, big bro. Chuck, you are the smartest person on YouTube. I will prove you wrong. Challenge accepted. Can you hear the ambient music? I can. It's, That's weird. I don't know. I hope it doesn't. Uh... Yeah, share out my thing. Thank you, John. Don't be a, don't be a hoe. Share the show. Don't be a hoe. Share the show. That's pretty hot. That's deep. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Zero three. As you can tell, I'm very, very professional. Share it with the same people. Out of nothing at all. Yep, my church going shirt along with my scooter squirrel t shirt. Yes, that is a well, he's a year old now. He's but a teenager. He cannot be away from Marcy. He's going nuts, throwing himself at the door. <laughs> 
like a psycho. He's a little bit uh, obsessive. Oh. <clears throat> and if I want him in here, he just chews on everything out. Smack him. What do you want? How many viewers did I just lose? There's nothing in here for you. All your toys are out there. All right, you should see the spreadsheet now, Mars. Okay. And if you see one for August 20th, you can just ignore it. Oh, okay. Can you mute it for a second because I'm going to yell for Charlie? <laughs> yep. Go and mute. Funny. Francis. Francis. <laughs> Chewie's missing Marcy. He is. Oh, that GameCube is. That's my uh, game tester. Unfortunately, it's not going to be for sale. Did you find it? The yeah. spreadsheet? I mean, yeah, 320, right? 320. I'm trying to pull it up. My internet's just going on my slow. I'm not surprised. There, come on. All systems are going. I just pull stuff from a box. Yeah, we make spreadsheets. It's more more gooder. I don't know what happened to that 821. That's one that you made it and you screwed up. I'm yeah, guessing. right. Oh, there it is. I found it. Gonna delete it. <clears throat> so we ship from Pirate Ship. I probably won't invoice until this weekend. Um, works with computers, uh, but we just charge what pirate ship will charge us for shipping. Usually, USPS, unless it's drastically different from FedEx. I think no, UPS is the other one they do. They don't do FedEx. Oh, they don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know that. Um, we're shipping out of Wisconsin, so we're kind of centralized. Wherever you're at, it'll be it'll be good. Six oh eight. We're in the 608 area code, and it's 608 o'clock. We yeah, because everyone wants to know the area code. <laughs> this music sounds like, and I know just where to touch you. I don't care what you're saying that. Making love out of nothing at all. Alright, that's enough. Out of nothing at all. Sorry. Okay. Got that ready. We're gonna rock today. Oh, and payments. We invoice through uh, PayPal. So the email you put when you register, please put your PayPal email. And uh, yep, I'll invoice this weekend. Please pay within 48 hours. And Nate's not here tonight. He had uh, things. He had things. He's in California actually right now. He's on a work trip. Work trip. He says he was messaging me all day because he was on a plane. On a plane and nothing better to do, and he said he had to sit next to a kid. Mm. You should watch some in plane movie. Yeah, they probably had one. It's a five-hour flight. Sorry, I had a piece of supper stuck in my teeth. Yeah. Looking kind of gangster tonight. Poor kid. Yeah, I felt bad for the kid, too. <laughs> Can I play, pay with goats? We would accept goats as payment, wouldn't we, from Hawkeye Mike? Yeah. Sure. Heck yeah, we'd accept goats. Oh, uh, what are we doing, folks? Yeah. There's two dogs out here now. <laughs> They're multiplying. That's super, that's super cool, Mars. <laughs> All right. No, Maya. You have to get out. Go on. Get, no, Maya. Out. Go on. And I know just love you. 
I promise I won't sing all night. Right, Mars? I hope so. Sometimes I get a little weird. Uh, sometimes? True. You call it weird, I call it annoying. You used to call it sexy and appealing. No. <laughs> I've never said that. Like, You're so funny and dreamy. No, I mean, or something. Oh, I used to say it to myself. In the that, mirror. I believe. <laughs> In the mirror. I believe that. Do you believe? Are you a believer? Okay, at least the goats will help them out. We got a big yard, Mike. <laughs> and he's sneaking up behind me, Roy. No, get down. Oh my gosh. I got the story up there. <laughs> the dogs are in here now. No, freaking circus. I'm funny and dreamy. That's what Big Rose says. There's no words. Funny and dreamy, those are words. Oh, okay. That's why Big Bro watches and he says. Okay. That's why all the ladies are watched too. They just lurk though, because they don't want people to know. Good. I'm glad. I'm just eye candy. The merchandise is secondary. Okay. Should we get started? Please. <laughs> what would you like me to start with, my dear? We do have a couple Easter mm -hmm. items or a few Easter items. You're not going to get them before Easter, I, I doubt. But they're still springy, right? Yeah. Or do you think oh. they could get them by Easter? I have no idea. It's two weeks away. I wouldn't count on it. Well, it is two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it's a week from the Sunday. Yeah. Well, I still don't want to. Yeah, I still don't want to guarantee <clears throat> only chucks.com. <laughs> We can do the chubby people. What? What are the these? <laughs> yes. Yeah, those. those are called chubby people. <laughs> are they? Are these? Yeah, they're Christmas. Yeah, they're little elves and Santa, and I think there's a those. Are they ornaments? I don't know. All right, I'm starting with chubby people. No offense to any chubby people. I'm not offended. I am a chubby person myself, so I'm a little offended, but not much. We have six chubby people. I don't know what that. This is chunky people. Oh, sorry, chunky, chubby, chunky, whatever. It's all the same. From the mid '90s, they're, they're Christmassy. They're cute. They're plastic. I've never heard of them before. I mean, I've heard of chunky people, but usually at family reunions. There's a cute little bear. They're kind of heavy, even though they're plastic. Snowman. Uh, $3 buy it now. $3 buy it now. Uh, Mrs. Claus. This dude, I don't know who he is. Maybe he's like a chief elf. He's got he's got a... Uh, I thought he had a badge. Maybe he was security at North Pole. $3 buy it now. Here's an elf. And there's the man himself, Sandy. Sandy Claus. So, uh, yeah, because I said we're doing Easter and I start with Christmas. Because why not? So there's six of these. It's 50 cents each. Buy it now. Anybody's interested. Hello, Bell Resettles. Thank you for being here. Samantha. Her name's Samantha. I got to remember that. Anybody like chunky people? If you're here, you must. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, Patrick Murphy swamp pass. Oh, Kristen's here too. Oh my gosh, we got all kinds of people in here. Here for support. John, did you see John's comment? He wanted to know if the music was coming from you or if you had another tab open. Oh, no, yeah, it's coming from me. It's uh, it sounds like dentist music. Just ignore it, it's in my head. Any interest in these? <clears throat> I are chunky people. I are too. All right. Oh, Rad Relics says I will take one. Rad Relics. Well, thanks, John. 
Sweet. Three bucks from John. Going to misery. Sorry, hang on. I got a new assistant tonight. She's still learning. You know. There. You're still on probation, you know. I quit. <laughs> You're not quitting. <laughs> Can I do these now? Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to do a choice on these. We got these two porcelain baskets. One is uh, uh, blue and one is pinky, pinkish. They do each come with some Easter grass and a couple, of, they each have two eggs. The eggs, I believe, are wooden. They're painted glossy, but they feel like wood. Um, I don't know a brand name on these, but they are cute. They're, I believe they're from the 90s. They're vintage. And what's our, is this a buy it now or just starting bid? I'm going to do choice, I thought. Just do buy it now choice. Okay. $5 each. $5 each. Take one or take them all. Gosh, I, I can feel my shoulders getting buff already. But they're about, I don't know, five inches across here. I got thingy. I got one of their measuring devices. The flexible ones. One, I think one is pink and one is yellow. Well, this one looks kind of green to me. I said blue, I think, though. Does it look blue on camera? Yeah, the, the leaves are green. The flower is blue. Did anybody buy it yet? No. All right, they're about six inches across. Four inches tall, but if you count the bunny's ears, five and a half inches tall. Wooden handles. Cute as a button. Easter basket workout. Gosh, I'm out of shape. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hold them for a couple more seconds. I'm going to cramp up and pass out. If nobody buys them by then, they're, they're going to be a pass. Oh, thanks, John. John said I'm a great guy. See, everyone likes me except you. Okay. You know, I'm the only one that's been married to you forever and a day, so. Yeah, you're a lucky lady. I sure am. Uh, we're passing these, I believe. All right. Hold on. Sorry. Thank you, man. If anybody changes their minds. Yeah, or if you're watching this on replay, you can uh, DM me at uh, whoever I am, back or better on Insta Instagrammies. Or if you're interested in both of them, shoot us the we're, we're negotiable. Yeah, shoot us. <laughs> what is the deal with these bunnies? We these don't... are de uh, Department 56. Department 56, Studio 54. Uh, these are flawless, I believe. You can see the proof that they're oops, Department 56. One standing stiff in a flower, the other one's trying to seduce you with his provocative pose. Um, I don't know, they're three or four inches. Very cute. And what's what's the price, dear? Buy it now for four dollars. Both of them? Yeah, together. Buy it now for four bucks for the two bunnies. Oh, you put it in there already. I did. Disco bunnies. We could do that. What are you doing? What? Oh, never mind. You just don't even worry about it. That's too slow. Can I break this? It's supposed to be strobing. Never mind. I don't like it. It looks scary. You're <laughs> the red. It's because I'm evil. <laughs> Any interest in the disco bunnies? This, we only have one more Easter thing, right? After this, because so far it's going gangbusters. <laughs> we don't have to do Easter; we can move on. It's coming up, though. Well, yeah, I know. 
looks like this guy's too aggressive and this this guy's in the defensive position like get away get away Ooh, first whatnot show gun wrestling magazines and did good nice i want to get back on whatnot we tried it what twice yeah i think so and we did okay but i think that's i think it's a good idea to like focus on one type of thing and yeah all right. All right, we're gonna pass on the Department of 56 bunny. Yeah. This is the last bunny. Last bunny. If you don't like this one, I don't know what to tell you. We don't know the name on this one. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's marked. It's a nesting bunny. Because bunnies are known for their nests. But it's delicate and beautiful. No chips or cracks. No name, no mark. But it's cute. And uh, did you say 100 bucks on this? Uh, buy it now for $4. Buy it now for $4. You could hide jelly beans in there from your children. Or herbs. Or you have people over for Easter lunch, you put gravy in it, and you put the lid on to keep it warm, right? What? No, that's not a fire. It is a fire on it. Sorry, I was just reading what John said that they added a storage fire category. Oh, nice. Yeah, they also do, uh, what's it called? I don't remember now. But the category I got in on was something that offered a variety to like vintage wares or something yeah i don't remember what it was garage sale junkies roy likes jelly beans well here you go roy place the stash them all right i'm gonna say that's a pass <laughs> let me know if you change your mind everybody okay. smash it no Shh. Ah. oh <laughs> she said no What's next? Should I do these quick? Sure. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, ah! seven. Shut up. You lost me lose count. Eight DVDs. Uh, they're all sealed. They're all brand new. Um, Are you doing by an hour? I'm starting. I'll start the bidding at four bucks for eight DVDs. I think I said CDs before. Nice no, they're all sealed. Uh, mm -hmm. Grown Ups 2, Jarhead, The Vow. Oh, this is like season six premiere. It's the first four episodes of season six of 24. That's kind of weird. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Marcy, you want to watch this one? I already know how to do this. We are the Millers. Uh, Oceans 12 and Oceans 13. Are those all brand new sealed? They're all sealed. Oh. Starting bid $4. John's in for 4 Nothing like starting a show in season 6. Yeah, it's kind of a weird lot. Purchase. It was a weird lot. If I had other seasons, I'd put them together. Gosh, I saw I saw the fan up here above my head. Yeah. And I thought, oh, the boom mic's in the picture. <laughs> Somebody's getting fired. <laughs> Actually, Nate's standing in the corner holding my boom mic. <laughs> oh, we didn't want him to be on camera this week. Hello, Kristen D. She said, Flipper's in for five. Saturn Star. Hello, Saturn Star. You're a new name to me. Man, somebody's drawn in some folks, and I appreciate it. I really do. Tons of DVDs in my flea market. We had an in or a booth at an indoor flea market not too far from here. And, uh, yeah, we sold quite a few DVDs cheap we sold them cheap but we paid next to nothing for them 
Six dollars for season six. Well, it comes with seven other DVDs, John. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button, yeah. Because I do I do auctions is my thing, but we're resellers. Primarily we do go to live auctions with the guy up there going, yep, doop, doop. And I film it and I show you what I get. And I'm dangerously entertaining. You will laugh until it hurts. I, I'm just kidding. I'm an old man that goes to auctions. No big whoop. Spot on. That's my beautiful wife. <laughs> she really does love me. She just doesn't like to show people that because that's a weakness. It's a weakness. She sees it as a weakness. <laughs> What's your weakness? Men. Okay, men. Damn. Give me a five five on that. We didn't practice that either. We share a brain. Fixing the cheese, man. Well, good job, Jeff. Now you owe yourself to get something nice. I'm gonna say these are sold. I'm gonna call it once. Twice. Sold to John. Thank you, sir. And that was for how much? About a hundred bucks. No, uh, six dollars. Oh. Thank you, John. Great DVDs. What's next, my darling? Uh, what else you got in there? Where is your stuff? Yeah, all in this box. Well, yeah, it's all around. Here, I'll do a lot of uh, books. I don't think my stuff got carried in here. Did I? That little box with, with the pig and stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Spoiler alert, we got a pig. <laughs> what are you looking for? I don't know. I'll just do three, three books. All right, I got three fantasy books. I guess this one's kind of sci-fi. Um, Jack McDivitt, Seeker, book, hardcover. These are all three hardcover. Knife of Dreams, book 11 of the Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan. And Dead House Gates, a tale of the Malazam Book of the Fallen. Holy crap, that's a lot of words. By Steven Erickson. Tree books starting bid four dollars. Hardcover, they're in very, very good condition. Like, this one doesn't even feel like it's been open before. Like, ah, these might not have been read, they seem pretty tight, tight like a tiger. They are heavy, I admit, but probably some good fantasy reading here. Knife of Dreams. How does that work? That will stab you in your dreams. That was the alternate name for the Freddy Krueger movies. <laughs> Yes, that was a salt and pepper reference. Are they like my mom's smut books? I don't know, Patrick. What the heck? I just realized because I'm watching StreamYard and not all the comments are showing up there. Okay, I, I gotta be careful. Interesting. Here I go, here I go, here I go again. Yeah, I think it was shoot. Girls, what's my weakness? Oh, man. Okay. Any interest in the fantasy books? I don't know. They, I mean, they might be. Sometimes those fantasy stories get pretty racy. I read a Conan one. Yeah, I've never read any of them. A couple months ago. You get a little hot. There were some naughty parts. <laughs> Jeez, it's my weakness. Yes. Cheese is my weakness too. Or butter. Hello! 
Angie's Oddities. Welcome, welcome. You want some fantasy books? I make you weak. Yes, you do. Yeah. Oh, these are too heavy to hold up. I'm setting them aside. Let me know if you change your mind. Yeah. Pass the Rooney. You got a pass pile? Uh, sure. Oh, sugar. I was going to clean these. My little bolts are dusty. Maybe I won't show the bolts. Yeah, what do we what do we know about these, Marks? I don't know anything about them. I know they're carnival glass. I think they're two of the same. They look like little creamers. They are pre or what's that called? Press glass where they gotta see. That would be a good question for Big Bro. Big Bro, buy these so you can show them on your channel and describe them. <laughs> But they're kind of an amber color. It's sort of hard to see here. Very light amber color. And they look like creamers with some kind of pattern on the You're side. Bossy, You're bossy. I didn't know for $3 for the two. Three bucks for both of them. That's a buck fifty each. And there's no waiting for the creamer. Like you can use a creamer and take your time while you're partners over there getting their own creamer. Hawkeye Mike says, Ember Depression Glass. That's my impersonation of Hawkeye Mike. <laughs> Very interesting impersonation. Um, He's British now. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'd like a spot of tea. Three dollar creamer, depression glass, lot of two. They are pretty. They are very pretty. I just, I have no use for them. I ended, I, when was that last summer we went to an auction and I bought a whole bunch of. I mean, like, did I go to an auction last summer? I think I did. <laughs> no, I ended up with a whole bunch of depression glass and I got rid of most of it. And there's just a few things that I have sitting around that I have not gotten rid of yet. Couple stragglers. Yeah, and I need to get, I need a purge. Any chips or cracks? Um, I don't no. think so. No. And I don't think there's, they're, I think they're in really good condition. Oh, well, yeah, they are. There's like no, well, sometimes they're like scratched up and stuff, but. Yeah, sometimes you got like micro rough spots up here. Abrasion. Micro what? Abrasion. Micro abrasion. <laughs> I think we just invented that. Ow! If you have fat fingers, though, be careful. <laughs> So these are micro abrasion. We just invented that. No chips are cracked, Angie. They're wonderful. Squat, squat, squat. Oh, this is how you gotta show stuff. My arms don't yeah. better. A creamer on your shoulder. <laughs> chip on my shoulder. Yes, three dollars for both of them, Angie. Three dollars for both, plus shipping. We are selling them cheap and stacking them deep. And forty dollar handling fee. <laughs> no. <laughs> Buying depressed glass makes me a repressed ass. <laughs> you are a poet, and you weren't even aware of it. What do you think, Angie? You gonna take the bait? You gonna try it? Hmm? Come on. You know what? You could give kitties milk out of this. All right, I'm going to say it's a pass. If you change your mind, let me know. Okay. Oh. No, I'm just fat and lazy. Oh. I haven't worked out in a while. Gotcha. Do you want to grab something from over there? Okie dokie. That just sits in there. Well, I thought it sat a little more firmly. What can you tell me about this piece, my darling darling wife that is a black poodle letter holder let's see test it oh my god it works it holds trivia cards that's cool so what is it black poodle it's not black it's what color is it i thought it was black oh yeah maybe it is black black with some like Goldish There's a spot that you can put a pen. Put a pen. Oh, we got to test this oh, stuff. Here. Well, you have a pen. I don't think. Marcy, it's like 
Snake of an inch deep. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, sorry. oh. <laughs> so you can put it. <laughs> Look, if you got a dog like this, you don't need a leash. You can just kind of lead him around. <laughs> That's stick up, stick up your dog's rear. Oh, All right, so that holds up. What's this little? You put a candle up here. I don't know. <laughs> there's a little, there's a little spot up here. Maybe you put a pencil in here and an eraser up there. Anyway, mid-century letter holder. It is made in Japan, or it was made in Japan. Yeah. Play music on it. So that's buy it now for eight dollars. Chuck the tail. Chuck the tail. Buy it now eight bucks. Let's see how tall it is. There's no measurement. Yeah. He is six. six inches tall. He's a beaut. I'll let you have a closer look. He's very cute. Somebody needs to adopt me. Kind of looks like, what was that dog's name with Davy? Goliath. Oh. Davy and Goliath. Duh. Well, Davy, I don't think we should murder your parents. I remember that episode. It was very special one. It's got a little bit of a scuff right there, but that's on the bottom. John's in for, or John's gonna take it for eight bucks. That was buy it now? Yep. Dang John, thank you, sir. Got it. I haven't been here. That's what I usually do when I get a sale. I've deprived you of that. What's this two over here? So well that's chapped. Oh. But her bowl chipped off. I don't know. Is anybody interested in that for a dollar? Otherwise, I'll probably just throw it away. What is it? Jo Joseph? Yeah. Jo just Joseph Originals? Yeah. I don't know. It is really cute. It is. But the bow on top is chipped, as you can see. I think you can see. And why does it have a two? You give us That's like... for, yeah, for a two-year-old birthday. Well, that seems really delicate to give to a two-year-old. Well, no, they have the, they have like one up to the eighteen. There's a bunch of different ones that did it. I They're see. Like precious moments ones and left in ones. And... That was a big thing back in the seventies and eighties. Huh. Okay. So oh. it's a buck. Buy it now. Or... Yeah. If anybody's interested in that, you have it for a dollar because of the bowl. Um, I must have hit it or something, and the bowl chipped off. Focus on chip. Well, you can't see it too good. This is really cute. It actually is. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. I have to go number two, Mama. All right, anybody wants that? Let us know. It's a buck. What's the what's the little deer for? Is that oh, oh that's, that's a, a cow? Deer is a cow. <laughs> Jersey. That reminds me on my way to work today. Yeah. I thought I saw four deer running across the field. Yeah. And then I realized one of them was like a golden retriever. Oh, really? Yeah. Because the deer were running in the straight line, the golden retrievers kind of prancing. <laughs> and then the it turned around, the dog turned around, and came back to the house. Well, maybe it was chasing them out of the yard. I think it was. Oh, nice. <laughs> but it was having fun. It wasn't mad at it. Yeah. Or mad. Oh, hold on. I got to. Ah, I got a cough. All right, so what's up with this? It's a little calf. Are we selling this by itself? Yeah. That is freaking cute. And like adorables. Adorbs. What can you tell me about it? There's no chips or cracks. Nope. Until I drop it here. It's a little Jersey cow ceramic. I don't think it's marked. Doesn't look like it. It's tiny like do you want to measure it i think it's like yeah, it's one and a half by one or something about an inch tall and yeah, it's about two long two inches by one inch two dollars buy it now he's so cute he looks like he could go in a nativity scene or uh on a farm set moo for those of you not from Wisconsin, cows say moo. <laughs> we get milk 
and meat from cattle. And cheese and... Cheese comes out their ears. Yeah, that sounds gross. Yeah, wait till I tell you where chocolate milk comes from. <clears throat> Any interest in the little moo cow? Look at him. How can you say no? He's freaking beautiful. Oh. He needs to be adopted. He needs a new home. Heck, I might keep him. Hey, little fella. You can take him to work. I'll just plant this it. This is my life. favorite kind of cow. I love moose. What do you mean? The jerseys. Oh, I like those shaggy Scottish ones. No, the jerseys. No, Scottish. No, the jerseys. Why, why they are have you, the prettiest eyes. Why are you anti Scottish? I'm not anti Scottish. Should I sell this lot of movies? What do we got here? One, two, three, four. Oh, it's 8 a.m. What a coincidence. No, it's not. It's nine. Counting's hard. These are not new. In fact, the cases on these are kind of beat up, but the discs, <laughs> the discs look good. What do you say? Farmer Chuck educates for free. <laughs> yeah, that's free. The, the ag education, free. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Patrick Murphy. Hawkeye Mike says it's a brown Swiss. You don't know what you're talking about. That little cow? Or maybe he's just saying what his favorite cow is. Oh. You know, I've never had a favorite cow before. Anyway, a lot of nine movies. The discs are good. The Like this night and day one. That's been chewed up. I don't know what happened to it. But the disc is good. Are you going to buy it now or um, starting to? Buy it now. Um, $4. It's got Norbit and Charles and his factory of chocolate and Looper Pooper. School for Scoundrels. I had a scholarship for that. Guy X with the uh, Jason Biggs. I never heard of this movie. Rio 2. Her name is Rio and she's Coyote Ugly. Hot. Oh, Holly. <laughs> somebody, oh, wrote <laughs> so somebody wrote Holly on that one. She didn't want people to rip off her Coyote Ugly. I just thought they were hot. So I yes, I did. Southland Tales. Mm. And, oh, right. John already said, already said he'd take them. Oh, good. This one's even. This one's dirty, too, John. There might be blood on there. What? <laughs> I don't know. I will wipe them off. Marcy will wipe them off. <laughs> well, blood never hurt anybody. That's. Oh, my God. It's not blood. Oh. What's next, my dear? I don't know. I'm oh. sorry. Uh, these are Nesco. I forgot. Where? Are no. Oh. Bri uh, is it Washington? No, it's oh. Brins from Pittsburgh. B R I N N S. Do you want the big light on? Yeah. Let's have light. That's a good idea for a second. It just seemed like all of a sudden I was getting dirty. That happens this time of the day. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know if you can read it, but it looks like an UNESCO sticker, but it's not. It's Bryn from Pittsburgh. They both have their little butt plugs. They're owl salt and pepper shakers. How much? Uh, $2 for the pair, buy it now. Buy it now, two bucks. You don't watch dirty movies. We said we'd clean it up. I, would add, I was at an FFA fundraiser last night. Stuff goes high at fundraisers, don't they, Jeff? I hope so. Well, yeah. But for a reseller, it's not. Useful. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, I guess I could show these more gooder. These are really cool mid century owl salt and peppers. What, what does Angie say? My thing is blocking it, so I can't see what she's done. What? What does Angie say? Take and then the depression glass creamers. Oh, okay, good. All right, Angie, we'll put put you down for both of them. Thank you. So, 
My lovely assistant, Marcy. I am, yeah, I'm trying to help Spencer. Kind of she has to type her. things and then well, help and me, so. Um, I do everything. She does it all. What are these? Those are um, candles. If you want to those. The whole lot? Sure. Couple candles. What can you tell me about them? Because I'm, I'm clueless. I got them at an auction. Some people light the candle at both ends. These you have to light in the middle. So there's a whole lot of, there's a, a couple of these. Santa's, deer. Oh my gosh. More deer. Is that their nostrils or their eyes? Must be their eyes. I think it's the eyes. I don't know. Kind of weird. Couple of snowflakes. A couple more snowflakes. These are candles held together by the wick. They're uh, vintage uh, Christmas candles. Vintage Christmas candles. Oh, and then there's some boots. I'll tell you in a minute. There's some Santa boots. These are kind of cool, actually. Candy canes. Nah. Uh, uh. Oh, these little reindeers. So those are really small. Most of these are about two inches tall. These are about an inch and a half. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sets. Okay. So let's do buy it now for six dollars. Buy it now, six bucks for all them candles. I know it's not Christmas, but it's coming. Be here before you know it. They're not scented, are they? No, they're not. They will be. <laughs> That's not all. Let's show them all. Let's just see a bulk of candles if I can. If I can use them. There. That's all of them. You could almost use those as ornaments, couldn't you? Sure. Just drape them over a tree branch. Yeah. They come in this beautiful display case. <laughs> That's real North American tree wood paper. We'll throw that in if you like. And then afterwards you can use it to drink. Less than 280 days left till Christmas. Thank you, Patrick, for doing the math. That guy is sharp. Any interest in these beauties? I'm going to put them aside. Let us know if you think about it and say, dang, I should have grabbed them candles. My mother-in-law loved candles. Whee I'm used to doing this with a partner so I get a break. That's a lot of work. I'm thirsty. What is it about 10 o'clock? Nope, 640. Here. Hit me. What the heck? Careful. For real? We're doing this? Yeah. So, what can you tell me about it, Mars? There is a ceramic cookie jar. Cookie jar, barn, cookie jar. Or a gravy boat. <laughs> Your gravy boat. Everything's a gravy boat. Watch me drop this some bitch. Milk, it does a body good. I should have the camera like there. Be a lot easier to tell you what. Um. Does it have a name? No, I did not find it. It's not marked anywhere. Mark, mark, mark. Uh, it's with the chimney. It's what? Eleven inches. Yeah. And then it's about nine, nine inches long, and about seven wide. Eleven, nine, seven. It is a jar for cookies or whatever else you're stashing. Keep a firearm in it at all times. It's got PD. It's got a tractor that looks kind of John Deere-ish. Is this a kitty up here? 
quick here. Oh, I can't see. Um, no, it's a fence post. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got a chicken. You had a whole farm here. And piggy and then a pump back here with a wheel. I don't know if I've ever seen a chimney on a barn. No one measures the chimney. All right, then it's 10 inches. Is this the demo they used when they built my house? Pretty close, yeah. We decided to go with the running water option, though. Cost us extra. Smell like cookies. My camera just did something weird. Did you see that? No. Why? I don't know. It went all wonky like it was having a seizure. That's weird. There. It just did it on your phone. Oh. There's obviously a lag. Okay. Let's buy it now. $12. I called this an auction. Have we auctioned anything yet? I lied. I think so. Clickbait. I'm going to say it's a pass. Change your mind, let me know. I'm Chuck the Back Road Bitter, baby. So tired. So much work. I'm getting buff, though. Making love out of nothing at all. What are we doing with this turlet? Oh, I asked you when you said you were trying to me. I did. Uh, I don't even know what that says. It's got kind of a crease in it. There is a sticker. There's like a crease in it, so I don't know what it says. Oh, I think at one time it had like fur around the seat. I'm pretty sure it did. It's a toilet so that you never had it so good. I don't know if it's for toothpicks or what. I mean, if you could stick this in a Barbie house. Or, uh, you know, keep it in your car in case you have to go and you're on the road. But anyway, there is some glue residue here from whatever was on there. This is kind of neat. And what are we doing for this? A dollar? Buy it now a dollar. Buy it now one dollar. Did you measure it? Wait, we have to ship this stuff? They're not picking it up? You wanted me to measure this? <clears throat> it's a four inch toilet. I'm surprised it's that small. Four inches tall. John says he's going to take it. All right, dude. Sweet. No, we are shipping. And yes, we're pretty darn good at it. I'll tell you what. I'm going to try another book clock, but I'm going to do this soft covers. Paperback, they call them in the industry. Yeah. You might not know that. I I would have no idea. Though. I don't know anything about books. No, you're only a librarian for 63 years. All right. I got four fantasy paperbacks here. Um, these ones are, I mean, have been read. They're in good shape, but not great. You can see the creases in the spines there. Uh, Crown of Swords by Robert Jordan. The Last Enchantment by Marv Stewart. Good old Marv. Gotta like him. Uh, Catherine, Catherine Kurtz, Volume 1 of The Legend of the Camber of Colby. Holy smokes. That's a mouthful. Apparently those guys are having a dispute about who gets the best bedroom upstairs. The Mer Lion by Lee Arthur. Well, does that mean somebody's like half lion, half person? Like a merman? I don't know. Do you know, are you doing buy it now or just, just buy it now or starting a bid? Um, buy it now, five bucks. Why well, can't Chuck read? Nobody bought him a darn book. Yeah, they'd have the reading this fundament fundamental thing at school. My mom would never let me get nothing. Oh, you can get books for free at the library. Four fantasy books. You know what? I'm going to say four bucks. Four bucks, buy it now. 
buck a piece. I want to know what a merlion is. In Scotland, he was a noble. But in the bloody desert Coliseum, he was a slave battling for the hand of a woman he hated. And apparently he's got white hair. Any interest in these bad boys? What's the matter? Oh, big bro will take these. So four dollars. I, I lowered it to four bucks. Okay. While you were out. A lot of four. A lot of four fantasy paperbacks. Eight by four inches. Multicolor. My wife loves me so much. Next. Oh, this is adorbs. This is Lefton. Uh, made in Taiwan. It's a pig. A pig gravy boat. And look, you can you can get the gravy out this way. No, it's not a gravy boat. Okay, which one you have? The, the mama pig and the baby? Yeah, with the okay. three babies. So that's a Lefton. It's marked G-O-Z on the bottom. And... On her snout, she has three little, I don't, they look like little chips or the paint. Yeah. I can't tell if that's just where the paint was rubbed off or if it's three little chips. Um, They're so very small and hard to notice. Yeah. Though. Otherwise, she's in good condition. She's still got the original tag on her. Um, starting in bed, $3 for her. We have an auction. I don't know. I showed you the bottom, I guess. Left in. Look at the baby pig butts. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Big Bro's in for three dollars. Big Bro likes the left in. It's pink. With a I guess a blue bonnet with all Yeah, the show try to show him the bottom of it. I did try. It says 1988. Oh, yeah, there's Geo. I hope you can see that. The music, um, I think it's under brand, John, on StreamYard. And you just scroll down and you got like, I don't know, six choices for music. Big Bro says, cool. So he saw it. We got a $3 bid from Big Bro. He's going to put paper clips in there on his desk. It's actually very cute. It is actually a very cute piece. I will show this now and again. They have a lot of cute little pig stuff. Little pig, little pig, let me in. I don't think that's what her voice would sound like. Not by the hair on my chin, chin, chin. Geo Lefton is the best Lefton to resell. Don't you resell me? Love me. Keep me forever. Is there any other interest? Cause I'll sell it to Big Bro. I don't even care. Wolf face. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna say once, twice. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to flip you off. Three times. Sold the Big Bro. Got the whole family of piggy pigs. Awesome. Thank you, Big Bro. Thank you, Big Bro. Hello, Jennifer Hayes. 
She says, this music is changing my life, Chuck. I love it. Don't encourage him, Jennifer. That's not what she said. Music has to go. I can do that. Wait, was there another question there? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gotta do the oinkers. Do we want different music or no music? Do you, would you like me to sing? Um, nope, not what I said. I'm pretty sure that's what you said, Jennifer. Oh, let's see what she said now. Ah, I never... Don't believe Chuck, don't believe Chuck, don't believe Chuck. How long have we been together, Mars? All right, too long. And you, you want to grab those doves? And you don't even remember that... I'm full of crap 97% of the time. No, it's like 98% of the time. 97.8. These are doves, we think. They seem peaceful. They are, they're a much lighter pink than I think what it looks like on the camera. Don't you think, Mars? Uh, yeah. Probably more shade or two later. There's, it's like a pastel pink. It's a nice pink. It is. How many times can I say pink? In one it's, a, it's almost hot pink on the camera. Yeah, I see that. But in real life, they're nicer. There's a couple little Mickeys, right? There was one on one of the beaks. Um, beaks but that was the only one I saw. So I, you might want to look them over. They there. are not marked, Angie. They, to me, they look like McCoy, but they're not marked. You can see the flowers. I think they're really pretty, and I don't even like stuff like this. Um, we'll get a measurement, I reckon. They are seven inches tall. Wingspan of five inches. And we're doing them both for one money? Yeah, starting at $10. Starting bid, $10. Yes, they are exactly the same, I believe. They are, yep. So I want you to see the beak on this one, though. It's got a little chipper rooney. I guess he's hideous. <laughs> But yeah, they're exactly the same. What does it smell like? Let me tell you. Mm. Chicken? They, they smell, they smell like <laughs> barbecue chicken? Fried chicken. Should we give it a taste? Of, I'm not doing a taste test. <laughs> Marcy will though. No. Bird with a lisp. <laughs> Oh, Mike says so with those measurements, they could be swallows. Gosh, I could think of so many jokes right now. I'm a good boy. They do kind of have that the pointy wings like a swallow. Yeah, I don't know. They're birds. If nobody buys them, I'm going to see if they fly. No, we're not. <laughs> Jennifer thinks they look like swallows, too. Wow. One is a swallow. <laughs> the other's a dove. But I'm not sure which is which. And they're both for sale. And neither one poops. I think that's a pass. Do you think that's a pass? Yep. If anybody changes their mind or the price is not right or negotiable. Marcy's phone number is... No. Marcy does not answer her phone. That's the truth. Next, we have this handy Rockstar flat. This is uh, North American cardboard. You can use it as a gravy boat or put trinkets in it. Oh my gosh. What's next, my dear? You want to do the shot glasses? Oh, I forgot about those. Weird. These are some pretty cool shot glasses. And we're doing all of them, right? Yep. So there's a couple different styles. 
and some of it confuses me. So all of these shot glasses are going in one lot. We've got four of these tequila rose ones. And the one looked a little scuffed there. So yeah, four. that one has a, like a little mar on it. Yeah. But the other three, they look like they've never been used. I bet none of them been used. That probably just got scuffed in transit or something. Yeah. Those look like two ounces there. So there's those four. But wait, there's more. These are my favorites. Those are nice and thick, too. These are really thick. And they're called... Hornitos. <laughs> I'm guessing that's an alcohol. They look like horns or, uh, you know. Yeah, they have red ones too, but I have the clear ones. And they come with holders. Some kind of holders. These, Marcy thinks this one goes on the side of another glass. And then you put that in there. I'm not sure the purpose of that. And then this one is. is no. I, I didn't figure that one out. I wonder if I got bent or something. I don't know. But anyway, there's the Hornitos. They do not stand up on their own. And then there's six of these. So. Salesmaster. That's what I am tonight. What When I did my research on those, it looks like they were from um, Buick. Really? Yeah. Buick shot glasses. Yeah. Figure. Salesmaster must have been like a promotional thing for dealers. Yeah, I guess. So. But there's and six of gold, these. They're gold rimmed. Those are gold rimmed stemware shot glasses. And that's all of them. So it's like twelve shot glasses, very unique ones. I am the salesmaster. And what what's the starting bid or what are we? Uh, twelve dollars. Starting bid or buy it now. Starting, uh, starting bid, twelve dollars. St starting bid, twelve dollars. That is a buck a piece. So let's hold some of these up again. Because I'm crazy for you, Cornitos. Dude, I could see myself drinking out of that. I used to have a girlfriend I called Hornito. The, the tiny ones are called sniffers. The, uh, like those Buick ones, you mean? Yeah. That makes sense. I accept that. I would demonstrate, but I've been sober for two hours now. I plan to stay that way. The silence speaks volumes. I think she was reading something. She loves me. Don't worry about it. What? Nothing. So 12 shot glasses, $12. I don't know what these tequila rose is. I'm guessing that's a kind of tequila. But I think these promotional ones are kind of cool. I hope I hope it'll focus. It's got a, a little shield on there, a little coat of arms, I should say. It says salesmaster. So you can't drink out of this unless you're a salesmaster. A new state record probably do. Let's fill them up. You wanna? I just when you no, when you said that I thought of Nate. Is that his favorite song? Shot shot shots. You know what I'm talking about? Nope. Okay. Rarely. All right, no interest in those. Let me know if you change your mind. What is, are we doing this? Oh, yeah. And is we that did, the box that those came out of? Yeah. Just throw them right back in the box then. I will. Okay. I won't throw them though. No. This beauty, that just screams mid century. And all the bulbs work right. They do, yep. And all the um, little plastic covers around them. It's just a little Christmas star. So tall. I'll measure it in a minute. I think it's like five and a half inches. Five and a half, or Marcy says. I'll see if she knows what she's doing. And what are you thinking on this? It is electrical. 
not like those old gas ones. We got a price, or are we? I'm just, I'm typing just a minute. Oh dear. Rock down to Electric Tree Topper Avenue. And then we take it high up. I think you're missing out on them shot glasses. What are these butter dishes? Oh, that's my new Fastoria. Oh. I gotta get those listed. What's the Fastoria with those? Oh, I was gonna measure this. So, what are we doing on this? Uh, I think I put three dollars, but now I can't see it because the stupid heart is in the way. Buy it now. It looks like three bucks to okay. me. And I'm trying to measure. Yeah, it's about yeah five and a half, five to five and a half inches tall. Very mid-century. I don't know how you hang it. Or... Well, it's got a um. It's got a couple of holes in the back. Yeah. That's the record without passing out. Yeah, we pass out when we're sober here. Any interest in this beautiful golden Christmas star? Oh, here's the hangy thing. Now I see it. <laughs> Patrick Star. I don't think anybody wants it. Okay. Nobody's in the Christmas spirit today. <laughs> I don't blame them. It feels like Christmas outside here. I was just going through my storage unit and that's where I came up with a lot of my stuff. I just grabbed a couple boxes. I don't even know what's in there anymore. I may or may not be a hoarder. You're a hoarder. We're all hoarders these days. Pitberry, a lot of four. Let me see. Circly, circly wreath things. Do four dollars, so I'll be about the piece. All right, four dollars for the whole lot. Looks like there's three of this size. There's pip berries. Pip or pit? Pip. Pip, pip, cheerio. <laughs> three of this size. And one bigger one. What's going on? What, why are I'm we. You. Why, Mars? It hurts my feelings. So, what do you do? You put can these on a candle or something, right? I cannot think and type and listen to you at the same time. Why are you typing? I'm putting in the, the price of it. I'm trying to do a show here. <laughs> so all four of these, is it buy it now or auction? Yeah, let's just do buy it now. Four bucks. This one has a price tag of it of seven and a quarter. Yeah, I think they're all brand new. I don't think any of them have been used. Pitberry wreaths for... Putting your shot glasses in, I don't know. Well, they're for putting around it. I mean, like you said, it's on there and put a candle in the middle of it. Flame retardant, I assume. Four of them. Buy it now, four bucks. Three smaller ones. These are all the same size. And then one more bigger one. I can measure the inside. Maybe they need to know that. The inside diameter of the big one is. <clears throat> Uh, four and a quarter inches. That's a, weird. And the inside diameter of these are two and a quarter inches. So I suppose you put four inch candles in here and two inch candles in this one. And you live your life. You be happy. You don't let people freaking get you down. It's far out goggles. Any interest in these bad boys? We used to have a dog that loved to eat pink berries. Oh, this dog does too. Does he really? Yes. Why are dogs so dumb? I don't know. We're still on here, right? We didn't get kicked off. You didn't show any firearms either. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think the chat's froze. Oh, no, I can see what you wrote. Any interest in these? Don't make me come over there. I'll sell them to your mother. 
All right, I'm gonna say that's a pass. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, sure. All right, nope, I still hear you in the background. I'm Mueller, Mueller. I'm listing and lurking. No, you should be bidding and buying. Okay, is there is there any other interest in uh, more of the amber oh. depression glass? I have a few more pieces that I need to get rid of. We might as well try it. I can run out in the other room and grab them. Should I show these ships? Sure. I think they're cute. They are, but I, they're dusty. No, they remind me of House on the Rock. House on the Rock, uh, the inn is selling those big nine foot ones that they had hanging everywhere. Really? They're on Wisconsin Surplus. So much. I don't remember what the bid was last oh, yeah, time. Oh, yeah, because it's an auction. Yeah. Oh, wow. That'd be so cool to have one of those. Imagine these, but nine foot long. There's, they got like a dozen of them they're selling. I'd be playing pirate all day. So we got these tall ships that aren't all that tall. But on little stands, they're wooden, and uh, I don't know if that's actually canvas, but some kind of fabric. Very cool looking. I'm sorry, they're very dusty, but we don't charge extra for that. That's true. That it'll add to the shipping cost. Um, let's see. Uh, buy it now, both of them, for four bucks. They are... Both eight inches long and eight inches tall. They're square. You said both for four dollars. I did, ma'am. Get a little closer here. They actually got some neat detail. <laughs> oh, did you see what Mike said? Softener sheets. Nice. I never thought of that. They don't have names. Sometimes when you buy these boats, they, they are named. Do they come with sexy pirates? Sexy pirates? Oh, yes. Somebody in the chat was asking. In bikinis. Who said that? Nobody said that. You're not the only one that could be a pain in the butt. Yeah, but I'm better at it. Mm -hmm. Any interest in the tall ships? We just talk more than you. That's true. We will dust them off. Uh, the Nina and the Pinta. There's one missing. The Santa Maria. Do you think that's what they are? They could be. Two ships passing in the night. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a pad. Here, clean those up. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Sorry about that. Very unprofessional. You have more books down here, too. I, don't know if you know. I do know that. Do you want it? I know. Hit me. I don't care. Whatever you got. Amber depression glass. Oh, another creamer. I like this one even better. By itself? No. Oh. Teaser. Oh. Don't find flaws now. No, I think that was done during manufacturing, but you can check that. Yeah, I can just kind of feel a little dimple right there. But I do think it's a manufacturing defect and not a chip. It's not sharp. I don't know if you can be able to see that. It's microscopic. Um, creamer and sugar bowl. Amber glass, depression glass. If you're really depressed, you can put booze in them or gravy. Hello, Alyssa. Just getting back from the store. Here to support the greatness. We got a price on these? Uh, starting bid four dollars. I was just putting them in my chat. Oh, thank Sorry. you. Starting bid four dollars on amber glass, depressive, 
uh, cream and sugar. Boop. Boop. I wonder if, what's this paper towel for? Is it dirty? No. I just wonder if you could see the color better if I, yeah. Cause it looks kind of lame like that. <laughs> Maybe a dark background. I don't know. Cute too. Jennifer says I'm funny and cute too. Here, try putting on. That helps a little, I think. Thanks, ma'am. Yep. Oh. Howdy there, Chuckles, Marcy, Andy, John, Jennifer, Jeff, Angie. Hey, Alyssa. Anybody want some cream and sugar? Well, then I guess you're not having tea parties. I covered Chuck's face. That's always a plus. Ooh. Pass. Pa ah, I got it. Oh, sorry. It was stuck finger. on my finger. <laughs> I thought you were saying, no, oh, don't worry, because I'm going to drop it. I almost lost a finger. <laughs> Nobody saw it. Anybody want to buy my mink? <laughs> I'm pulling out weird stuff now. <laughs> Real mink. It looks like a monkey from here. It kind of does. What is it? One, two, three, four little animals. <clears throat> Got their legs. Got a clip here so that you can be beautiful. I don't even know what you'd sell this for. Any interest in that? Make an offer. <laughs> four little soft squirrels. <sighs> and they are soft. They are very soft, like mink. Those make fun cat. Oh, interesting. Toys. Oh, I bet my dog would love those. Oh, he'd rip them up. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they'd be hard to rip up since it's like. I don't know. I wouldn't give them to him. He might get the taste for blood. You got? Yeah. More? Oh, um, is that all? That's all my stuff from over there. Uh, yeah. Unless you want me to sell your Astoria. Uh, no. Waka 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 waka. Maybe someone on here would want to buy that. I don't know. We're this is an intermission. Let's all go to the lobby. Any interest in vintage night you know, not, I think they're from the early two thousands. Really? They look older. I what know, what size? Know. I don't know. It's the on the inside. God, I gotta work for this. Vintage sneakers, Nike. Made in Korea. Um, yeah, I don't think it says random size. It's got to say, doesn't it? Oh, here we go. Eight and a half women's, I assume, right? Yeah. Size eight and a half. Red, white, and blue leather Nikes. In very good condition. Excellent, I would even say. You can see inside the, you can see into your soul. There's no wear in there. Focus. I mean, they're a little scuffed and stuff. You can tell they've been worn, but they aren't worn out. Beauties, eh? Look at the treads. The treads are like new. They're not from the 80s, Mike. They're, I, I believe they're from the early 2000s. What, how do you know? I think it was the number. I looked it up. After I bought, I brought him home. Gosh, that was like last summer. And then, because uh, I thought they were from the eighties too, and they're not. Made in the Republic of Korea. But well, you could get away with wearing these on an eighties dress up day. They're cute. Oh heck yeah! Why? They're way too small for me. You can moonwalk. Wait, moonwalk. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I had to think about that. I usually don't walk on my hands, but 
for these people that I love, I'll do it. Oh, they're they're Nickies. In case you didn't know. You got the swoosh. They almost look like bowling shoes. The treads are like perfect. How can the uppers look like they've been worn a little bit, but the treads look perfect? This woman probably weighed 65 pounds. Jennifer, you wear an eight and a half? These would look good on you. You could take up that jogging habit you've been talking about. Hello, Jen, JRKR, 1964. I bet she wears an eight and a half. Eight and a half Nikes. They look like 80s, but they're, we believe, early 2000s. Great treads. Any interest? I wear Pumas. All right. That looks like it's passed. There you go, ma'am. Thank you. They are clean, too. They don't stink or anything. <laughs> no, the lady I bought them from, she was... Very neat and tidy. Well, she cute. What is this? Is this for sale? I don't know what the. Oh, I think that's your daughter's. Oh yeah, but yeah, don't do that. Jeez, that's a Starbucks thing. She. Yeah. Don't... Slip out. Here's. What? Oh, here we go. More depressing depression glass. We're doing both these together? There's four of them. Oh, should we just say, take as many as you want? Here. Okay. More of the amber glass. Depression glass, amber this colored. This is um, the cabbage, I believe. Show us the cabbage and you can buy the cabbage. <laughs> um, and they, these do have marks. Like, oh. some... Like, I'm sorry. Twelve. Glamma said twelve for the for the shoes. Oh, okay. Is that what you were asking? Yeah. Well, that works out. <laughs> Let me do the math. That's that seems all right. <laughs> Thank you, Glamma. Sorry, I missed it. I, this lady over here is flirting with me. She's showing me cleavage. I get distracted. Wow, I have fleece on and a turtleneck. Well, we all got our kinks. So what are we doing? We got four of these amber depression glass bowls. Yep. Are we doing a lot or a choice or? Um, let's do the lot of four. Uh, let's do five dollars. I just want to get rid of them. No kidding. Yeah. And there's no chips or cracks. I do see there's. There's scratches. There's scratches. Because it looks like I mean they look like they've been used. But they're they're not chipped or cracked. I just wish they showed up better in the light. I need a different way to display them because they're prettier in person. Same pattern as the creamer, Mars? No, I think that it's a different pattern. I do too. Do you have the creamer handy? Hold on. It's right here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, she don't get one. That's the creamer. And that's, yeah, it's a different pattern. They're not showing up real well. Yeah, I think the pattern on the bowl is supposed to be a cabbage. I don't know what the um, pattern on the creamer is. Wait, this is John's, and those are. Yes. You got a system? Okay. Anyway, there's four of these bad boys, and they're beautiful. You can use them as gravy, gravy boats or put your loose change in there. Keys. Uh, serving dishes. You can serve people. Any interest in those bad boys? Oh, there's, yeah, there you can see the pattern more good. I think. It does not, it looks like roses to me. Okay. Well, the one on the bottom does. Yeah. The ones on the side are different. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't think anyone cares. They're like 
out. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, they must be talking about me. Okay. Carefully hand these over to my lovely assistant. Thank you. Yep. Maybe I'll try a couple of books. Oh, dang it. What you do to my book? All right, I got three more hard covers. Fantasy books. Might cost a couple bucks to ship. David Weber, The Shadow of Saganani. That one's in very wonderful condition. The binding is still like new. Robert Jordan, The Path of Daggers. But this one just it got a little crinkle right here, the dust cover. The book itself is in I think unread condition. Well maybe not. You can see where the pages up in the corner got scrunched somewhere. And uh Lord of Chaos, another Robert Jordan book. All three of these for three dollars. Three fantasy hardcover books. Rock down to Electric Avenue. Lisa, where have you been hiding? In plain sight. So how are you this evening? I am as well. Should we do a giveaway? I didn't even think of that. Do you have something to give away? Oh, I can find something to give away. So I don't know how to do a giveaway. Here, let's toss those away. I think it's something right in StreamYard. Eddie Grant and Chuck's head. That is a good price, Angie. I, I did them cheap just because they're heavy, so they'll probably cost some money to ship. Uh, can anyone guide me on how to do the hashtag giveaway thingy? I wonder if it's over. I'm going to go look here. Electric Avenue. And then we take it higher. I'm just looking for a couple minutes. What's in here? Oh, that's nice. No, I don't know how to do it. StreamYard free giveaway tool. How do I get to that, Mr. Big Bro? Is that a... Bless you. Is that a separate, like, page? All right, I'm going to look around here for a little bit. Everyone just take a breather. Okay, that's what Coffee I'll do. Coffee break. Stream yard free giveaway tool. Can't spell it. Free giveaway tool. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, what happened? Create a broadcast. We did that. Engage your audience. Let them know you'll be hosting a giveaway. Yeah, did that. We're engaged. You can use a hashtag, word, or phrase. In the new tab... Okay, I did all this. But, but, 
It's not case sensitive. To show the giveaway drawing to your audience. How does it know to, okay, if I do this on this tab, potty break, <laughs> if I do it on this other tab, how does it draw them from the tab where I have you guys? It just knows, it's just connected. Wait a minute. Oh, I see. I have to choose the live stream. Got it. Okay, I'm on. I'm on it. Oh, she left. I don't know what I'm giving away. I'm giving away all Marcy's crap. Mm. Fudge monkeys. Should I give away the mink? Nah. Crud. I thought I had something. I went through all of that. Present to streamer. Yeah, I will do that. What, did, what are we giving away? I don't know. You said you had something. Did you figure it out? Yeah, but I, I don't know what I'm giving away. <laughs> you said you had something. I thought I did. Here, give me that uh, gizmo. What? No. <laughs> Not funny. Tobacco? No. Larry Lee? You're not giving away my stuff. Your stuff's more fun to give away. How about a boat? <sighs> what are you doing? Dumping stuff. Okay, I have to commit to something. Did these sell? Uh, no. Can I give one of those away? Uh, sure. All right. I'm giving away this Department 56 bunny to make you guys happy. So you have to be at least five foot tall to play. Um, Department 56, awesome bunny, and uh, hashtag bunny, because we're getting creative up in here. Stop it. Can you see him? He's lovely. A cute little butt, but breaking up the set. Well, actually, we already broke up the set. There's supposed to be three of them, and one of them got broke. His poor little ear. <clears throat> oh, we can't even give stuff away, nurse. We're failing. So, hashtag bunny if you're interested in this. I'm gonna do a thing. Right, alrighty. <laughs> I did a, I did a funny. All right, we got a couple people getting in. That's cool. Uh, so I, do I say start collecting comments when it's time to give it away? I'm assuming. Present. Uh, share screen. Uh, share screen. Uh, is this what I do? The executive producers here. We are amongst royalty. Why is why can't? Where is it? <laughs> I shared screen. Where? Oh, there we go. Gee, with me. Phew. I think we got it going now. Maybe. And on this episode of Boomers Using Technology, Glam, I got a phone call. Did you put in your bunny? Hashtag bunny. 
hashtag funny, funny bunny. Electric Avenue. Hey, I figured it out. <clears throat> I had to train a student worker this week at my job, and it took her about 12 minutes to learn the software. It took me like two weeks to get a handle on. <laughs> Playboy money. Ooh, do we have Playboy bunnies? Uh, no. No. All right. When should I run it? We've only been waiting for this for like a half hour. Ooh, JRKR is in. And make sure you're registered. Um, even if you don't buy tonight, in case you win this bad boy. You spelled bunny wrong, Jennifer A's. Make me so angry. Phew, I'm getting tired. We'll probably have to quit pretty soon. Wesley Wabbit. Uh, all right, I'm going to run it. So do I just say start collecting comments? Because that's what I, what I think I'm going to do. Vibrating rabbit ears. And we got six entries is all. Uh, that doesn't seem right. I thought there was more. That's probably about right. Okay. We're drawing. Drawing. Good luck to all. Ooh, this is exciting. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Bing! JRKR! Congrats! Oh, we got a little lag. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah, but they don't see it until the legs catch up. Um, I, it just came up on my thing. Never mind. Anyway, we got a winner. <laughs> <laughs> well played, JRKR. And thank you for being my guinea pig so I learned how to do the giveaway. And next time I do one, I won't remember. Guaranteed. What are those little pictures Jennifer Hayes put on there? Um, they look like flies heads. I'm, oh, 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 oh. They look different in StreamYard. They're little party favors. Okay, did you get that written down? Yep. JRKR. Thank yeah. you, Jen, for entering. Thank you, everyone that entered. We got more to sell. Do you have more to sell? What are the other options? I really think I'm tapped out for the evening. Okay. Unless someone wants to make an offer on my Boston hat. Um, yeah, I think that's it. She would freak out if I grabbed the, that box of glass the way she is right now. <laughs> you would yell at me. What are you doing? Bells and streamers. On StreamYard, it looks like they look like fly heads, but on YouTube, I can see bells and streamers. Okay, well, I think that's the show. I really appreciate you guys coming. Yes, thank you, you guys. Who's looking in? That would creep me out, John. If somebody was looking in that window? Yeah. Yeah, because we're like 14, 15 feet off the ground. Well, the deck is out there. Somebody could walk up. It's probably my son. We don't let him in at night. He has to sleep out in the shed. Uh, well, I just walk through the house, go to the bathroom, and it's all dark. And I'm like, Charlie? Where is he? He's watching a movie. Oh, he's, he's watching. He's watching X-Men or something. He is. But it's like completely dark in the house. Like, okay. All right. Uh, again, thank you, everyone. We'll get the invoices done ASAP, probably Sunday. Unless Marcy wants to work on them, but I don't know if you know the procedure. I I do not know the procedure, and I don't know that I would have time to do it this week. What are we doing with this? Mm -hmm. It's just a toy for us. Mm -hmm. That's good, because I kind of like it. 
Bye, everyone. We're going to let you go. Stay sharky. Have a great week. Thanks for stopping by. I had a good turnout for my first ever auction. We might do it again sometime. We're still going to do the one with Nate uh, at this time on uh, other weeks on is, Nate Pie's channel. Is he going to be back next week, or are you doing your auction alone next week? Ooh, um, No, next week. Sorry about that. Next week he'll be back. Okay. Tomorrow, the Beardos are on my channel at, thank you, Lessa, at uh, 6 p.m. Central. And my guest host will be Carrie from BooTube Productions. You said Carrie, right? It's not like you said Gary. Well, used to be Gary. Now it's Carrie. <laughs> nah, she's hilarious. We got some funny things planned. She wrote up a whole script. No, just kidding. But I got to get off here. I'm milking it. Have a great one. Thank you, guys. Good night, everyone. Hope to see you tomorrow night if you like naughty adult humor.